uh, of the screen. We have options to display the palette, some built-in motifs, built-in alphabets, and something called layers. A layer is what I like to describe as a movable motif, but it can also be a movable picture. Let's have a look at some of the motifs first. We can use a motif by clicking it, and it will assume that we want to move it around and then just paste it. And having pasted it, that's it. It's in place. We can't move it unless we select it, cut it, move it, drop it somewhere else. But we're not limited to doing that. If we select a motif, and press Command L instead of Command V. What we paste is a motif, is a, is a layer. And the layers menu will now show a count at the bottom. There is one layer in place. You can see that it has a round, a red uh, rectangle around it to, to show that it is a selectable object. And having selected it, we can drag it around, put it somewhere else. Let's add another motif. And again, Command L. So now we have two motifs. And they are stackable. So at the moment, the bear, because it's on the top, has priority over the guitar. We can drag the row around, switch that, and now the guitar has priority and it covers up the bear. Neither of these things are part of the chart until we export or flatten them. So you can move them around as much as you like, and then when you finally decide that you want them to stay put, you click on the little flatten button next to the icon, and it stops being a layer. Other options for layers are whether or not you see them while you're working, that's visibility, or transparency, so you can make them see through. You can lock it in place, and if you do that, it doesn't matter how much you drag it, it won't move. You can use these arrow keys to nudge it around. There's a center icon, which lets you put it into the middle of the chart. And an edit button, which opens that particular layer in a new design window of its own, so that you can amend that and return back to the original chart with any changes that you've made. The layer effect is very useful when you're doing things like backstitch lettering. Because having pasted it as a layer, you can center it later. So, there's some text. We'll center that and center that. And there they are in the middle of the chart. And Nicholas was asking about an image behind the grid and is that a layer? Onion skins and layers are completely separate, um, but kind of do the same thing. So if I wanted to have a layer behind the grid, I can do that by inserting a picture behind the grid. A 
and it's kind of transparent and it allows us again to draw over the top using the wrong color for lips very like onion skin we can start a chart of a particular size and then add a picture that fills the area And again, having done that, you can draw over it. 